India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is under intense pressure to announce a national lockdown after India reported the highest number of deaths with COVID-19 over a 24-hour period. Mr Modi had resisted the measure in the build-up to regional elections where his party is trying to extend its influence. But with the polls now over, the Prime Minister has been meeting senior officials to review the situation. Our correspondent Davina Gupta is in Delhi. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his last address uh, with the public when the regional polls were going on had stopped short of announcing a no national lockdown, saying it's up to the states to decide whether they want to have a mini lockdown and it should only be used as a last resort because livelihoods of uh, a lot of people in India, almost 90% of the workforce, which is in the informal sector, is dependent on odd jobs and daily wages that they get uh, in uh, various states. And if there's a lockdown, then what happens to those people? We've seen a migrant crisis where a uh, majority of the migrants staying in the cities has walked back to their homes without any transport, at least in the first month of the lockdown. Um, there were reports of how many people walked on foot uh, and also experienced fatigue. And that's the situation that the government wants to avoid at the moment. But experts say it's just a race against time. The extent of the pandemic right now is quite different from last year. We're seeing more uh, a record number of deaths, over 3,600 being reported, Report record number of cases, over 400,000 reported across the country earlier this week. And these are the numbers that require bold, decisive steps and national lockdown could be the way of dealing with this crisis at the moment to save as many lives as possible. And, and what about the politics? Because obviously we, we've seen those polls open and close. Uh, what mm. is the expected impact, if it's possible to, to judge at this stage, on the Prime Minister and his party? Well, the ruling Hindu Nationalist Party was betting quite high on uh, at least one of the states, which is the eastern state of West Bengal, where it was in a neck and neck fight with the regional party, the TMC there. But having faced a defeat, according to the early trends at this moment, it seems that the stamp of, of approval that the party was hoping for, for its uh, uh, for the India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, his political capital, his trust that people uh, seem to have on him, with the majority of votes that he got in the national elections has been a hit to quite a, a quite an extent because uh, this was an election that was also seen as a referendum to his policies during the COVID crisis in the first wave. He had provided relief to many of the poor people, announcing schemes like uh, monetary help and daily rations as well, and they'd hope to capitalize on that. So political ramifications from here will be that uh, what experts have been pointing out, that India needs decisive steps from its policy makers and leaders to impress them. And that's where now um, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been focusing, it seems, his energies, because just today morning he had a review meeting about resources of oxygen distribution and also essential medical supplies in COVID hotspots. And uh, he has promised action in the coming few days.